Taurus, here we go. This is a soulmate love energies update for the sign of Taurus for mid-July 2021. It's general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. And my pre-shuffle. Before I hit the record button, I find out why am I here for Taurus. I ask the universe show me the current soulmate cycle from the angle of Taurus. What's going on with your person's soulmate? Or your soulmate, your person, Knight of Wands. Impulsive action. It's an impulsive desire to come talk to you, to come in, to charge in. Seeing this a lot here in mid-July. You're not my first mid-July reading. I'm seeing this a lot, this impulsive need to rush in. It's that new moon in Cancer. It messed with all the soulmates' heads. It was a very emotional new moon. Yep. That's why I waited till after the new moon to pull these readings. Let's see where we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cards flying out of the deck here. Uh, okay. Too many. Far too many. It was half the deck, so I can't really. <laughs> but I, I do see why they want to come rushing in. The Three of Swords before the cut. Somebody's got a lot of uh, disappointment, regret, sadness. Somebody's in a lot of pain on their side about how they uh, are not next to you because you're their wish fulfilled, the Nine of Cups. And I think they realized it may be a bit too late. It could be a bolt. I'm getting a little bit of an energy of too little too late here uh, for some of you, not all. Some of you might be anxious to hear from this person. But for some of you, it's a great bit of too little too late. And I think that's why they're impulsive, why they want to take a chance mm -hmm. five of wands yeah some sort of five of wands the overall energy of the reading the whole reading is clarifying the five of wands I go one deeper and get a little clarifier on it to help me out and I got the king of swords you are this person's happiness I'm drawn to the rainbow sword here but there's some sort of there there was something that happened it was some sort of conflict or some sort of misunderstanding. And this person's not sure if you're going to get over it. And they think you might <laughs> not. Okay, let's put it that way. I don't know. Uh, that's all I got so far. Let's find out. This whole reading is going to clarify whatever this Five of Wands is. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how they feel. Right here's how they feel about you. This is the hidden energy. This is the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. If I think we need to extend this, I will. Link will be in the description if I do. Let's see, though. If I don't extend it, don't worry about it. It just means well, I, uh, we got everything we need here. And if there's a couple of extra cards I need to pull, I will. This Five of Wands is confusing to me. I feel it, but I'm not quite sure how to put it into words. I'm hoping the reading helps me out here. Let's see. Energy around the connection. You ready, Taurus? Seven of Cups, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a, someone with a lot of choices. Someone who wants to talk and doesn't want to talk. Oh, I should, should I or should not? Should I or should not? It's, it's options. It's confusing options, though. There's only one good option. There's seven of them on the table. What am I going to do? How am I going to do this? They are worried. There's worry here. That you're not going to get past something. I don't know what that is. It could be just a misunderstanding. It could be the way they... It probably has to do with the way they blew you off, the way they treated you in the past. They did something, or you wouldn't be here watching tarot readings. But I can't say specifically. They're just worried you won't get past something. That's the best I can convey the energy. The energy comes in. I feel it. All right. it's, it's all intuition. And I have to convert it into words. And that, 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 That's the best I can do. How do they feel? Knight of Swords. Again, frantic energy. We already saw the Knight of Wands. They want to come rushing in. The Knight of Swords want to come rushing, wants to come rushing in. And like I often say about the Knight of Swords, they have a very specific message. This is not a scatterbrained card. It's a card with a very specific message that's well thought out. It's something they want to say. They're not sure how to say it, and they're not sure you're going to get over something that happened. I get that. It's very strong. It's probably not going to apply to all of you. It's a general reading. It's not possible. There's too many of you watching these days. But it'll mean something to most of you. Uh, it'll mean something. There's something you need to get over in order to take this person back. You can look at it that way. Whatever it is, they're afraid you're not going to get over it. And you might not. 
maybe depending on what it is. How do they feel about you, specifically? Not what they show you, not what they tell you. How do they feel? Five of Swords. Five of Swords, book ending. The Seven of Cups. Um, they're hoping for a victory here. They, they really... Yeah, it's a let bygones be bygones card for me sometimes. I read it that way a lot. You probably heard me read it that way before. It's what it is. They're hoping you'll let bygones be bygones. And they're not quite sure whether to come in or not. They, but they have a specific message. And, and in their in the fiber of their being, they want to come rushing in. I've, got, I've had the Knight of Wands in my pre-shuffle and the Knight of Swords here in their emotions, in every fiber of their being, they want to come rushing in. They're not, they want, they hope you'll let bygones be bygones and there can be a victory here even if it's a false victory. Even if it's an illusion. They hope you don't ask them too many questions about whatever the fuck happened. That's the best I can get. Wow. Hidden energy. Read with this Seven of Cups. What the hell? It's what the universe wants you to know. What's hidden here? Not that all this isn't hidden, but yeah. what you don't know is this person's really worried. Look at this. I got the Nine of Swords with the Seven of Cups. This is a card of confusion. This is a card of pace in the kitchen at 2 o'clock in the morning with a bottle of whiskey. They don't, they're, they're jumping around like their head's on fire and their ass is catching. A jackrabbit in a brush fire. I mean, I'll use every cliche I got. It, it, they're frantic. They're really worried that you're not going to let bygones be bygones. They got something they want to tell you, but they're not sure you're going to give a shit. Probably, I'm going to guess, because this is old energy, probably because they waited a while. I mean, if I owe somebody an apology, for example, just as an example, if I owe somebody an apology, okay, and I wait a year and a half to go in and give it, this is me, <laughs> you know? Nine of swords, yeah. I'd be worried, and, and I'd hope you'd let bygones be bygones, too. I think it's a minor issue. Five of Wands. It, it, five of Wands, at least, if it's not minor, it's something that can be settled. But I think this person just chicken shit. Final outcome. Read with this specific message. Knight of Swords. What's going to happen here? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the, sur it's the loop again. It's the loop. It's judgment. It's going to come back from the dead. Communication, birds all over this card. Resurrection. Something from the past is coming back. It could be in this case, because this whole read is clarifying the Five of Wands, they're bringing up something from the past. This message they want to tell you brings up something from the past. It resurrects something from the past. And they're worried about doing it. And they hope you'll let bygones be bygones and there can be a victory here. It's a very specific message, but it's very clear. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Let's clarify. This person is very worried. Yeah, very. I can feel it. I felt it in that Knight of Wands and the free shuffle, to be honest with you. All right. Seven of Cups, why is it here? Three of Pentacles. Uh, mm, I need one more card. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? So, yeah, Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles. Uh, if they were in a third party uh, and they chose that third party over you, we go from three to two. Bye-bye. Third party's gone. These, these might, the, the damn death card might as well have fallen here. Okay? However, that's only for some of you. For all of you, the general message here is they want to build a foundation with you and they're not sure how to do it. The two, two of pentacles is wishy-washy back and forth. Infinity symbol round and round and round and round, round and round in their head. They know they need to build a foundation of trust. They know they need to gain your trust. Three of pentacles. But they're worried about it. They got different options. Should I or should not? Should I or should not? And this is should I or should not? It's all just should I or should not here. But they know and it's what they're worried about with the Nine of Swords, that they need to build a foundation of trust here. And in order to do that, they have to clear up something from the past. And they hope you'll let bygones be bygones, and they're going to bring it up. Final outcome is them bringing up, drudging up something from the past. 
And that's the Knight of Swords and their feelings. They have a specific message they want to tell you. That specific message is something they're dredging up from the past. And they hope you'll let bygones be bygones. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Mm-hmm. 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 Seven of Wands. They're holding back because they don't know what to do. This also tells me They don't like that you have the advantage here. You have the high ground in this case with this card coming out here. Because the Knight of Swords is them flying in with a specific message. This card represents the high ground. They don't like that you have the high ground. This is weird. This is weird. Uh, <laughs> Queen, of, Queen of Wands. Uh-huh. Queen of Wands is pretense. It's a mask. Someone wearing a mask. Someone pretending one thing is one way and really they have deep passion on the inside. That is one way of reading the card. But when I see the Queen of Wands here with the uh, Seven of Wands, again, this person is... Let me get a crossing card on this. Ah, uh, there it is. It's from the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I saw that earlier. It's the Four of Swords. Yeah, they they don't know if they should come in or not. They don't. They, they the four of so this is a card of doing nothing basically. It, it's a card. Well, it can be. In in this case, it is. I mean, they they know they have to do something, but yet they're kind of healing themselves, and just sitting quiet. The Queen of Wands here is what's confusing to me, because this is their. They don't like that you have the high ground. They know that you have an advantage here and you could blow them off. So what's, what the Queen of Wands is telling me is when they come in with this message, they might be wearing a mask. They might be pretending, they, they might be just trying to brush it under the carpet. The Queen of Wands brushes things under the carpet. Again, with this let's, be, let's let bygones be bygones. I think they hope, they're gonna, they know an issue from the past, I think they're going to drudge it up, but they, but they hope you're just going to brush it off or they might lighten it the queen of wands tells me that they might make light of it all right it's sort of what like what pr agencies do with uh laugh it off campaigns laugh it off campaigns or what what happens like if us if if you go out and you rob a, a store and it affects your job and uh, the, you hire a pr agency you'll go out on talk shows and stuff and and you'll say, oh, I used to rob stores all the time. It was no big deal. That's no big deal. Robbing a store, it's fun. You know, whatever. Ha, ha, ha. You know, it's like that. That's how they're going to behave, that kind of a thing. The PR agency laugh it off campaign. Mm -hmm. Make light of it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because, again, right here and how they feel about you, it's let, let, they're hoping you let bygones be bygones. Why is this Five of Swords here? This is a very, very specific reading. It's very difficult to read. The energies are read. Your, your person is a phony on many levels. Your person has three or four layers of pretense, whereas most people have one. Pretense is what we show the public. You know, I'm happy, <laughs> even though they're really sad. Even though they're pace, no one, no one around them knows they're they're up at night pacing the kitchen at two in the morning about you. In other words, why well, is five of swords here? And if they do know. They're just laughing it off. Oh, it's no big deal. I'm, I'm fine. I paste the kitchen all the time. I love this kitchen. It's wonderful. Five of Swords. Why is it here? Temperance. Yeah, they're hoping you let bygones and bygones. They're hoping that they can bring balance to this. It's a card of communication. They hope the communication goes well. Yeah. Yeah. And they also, this card also tells me that they know that you're a very energetically balanced person. They actually have a lot of respect for you with this. This is the card of the angel. You're their earth angel in a way. Which is why they're so worried about this. It's why they're worried you won't let... You might hold it against them and there won't be any healing here. Which is probably why they're going to try the laugh it off campaign. I used to rob liquor stores all the time. No big deal. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Your person's taking the wrong tack here. Uh, temperance... Yeah, what I tell you, sometimes I talk and the universe 
backs me up or throws egg. I said, your person, I think your person's taking the wrong tack here and I got the tower. This is a yes card on what I just said. Yeah, it's going to backfire on them. It is. It's going to backfire because you're going to be more. Because if you think about it, if somebody did something to you, if this reading's resonating with you, somebody blew you off in a rude way or they did something to you that you're still a little pissed about. And if, if, some, if that person then comes in after a long period of time and makes light of it, laughs it off, ha, ah, I screw people over all the time. Why should you be any different? Right? Fuck you. It's a, this is fuck you upright. It's a tower. This person needs to be very careful. I don't think their tactic is right. This Queen of Wands is a bad idea. Drudging up the past is fine. Okay, it's fine. If you talk about it honestly and truthfully. Nine of Swords. Hidden energies. Pacing the kitchen. Two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey. Worried because they know they need to build trust with you. But they're confused by how to do it. They're indecisive. Is it worth it? Should I or shouldn't I? Are they just going to tell me to fuck off? Well, if you take this Queen of Wands tack, they are, according to the cards. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, they're, it's what I said. They know they need to build trust with you. It's here. They're pacing the kitchen because they're worried you're going to tell them to fuck off. And the card just before it says you, you are because they're coming in with laugh it off. Oh, it's no big deal. Come on, Taurus. Lighten up. What if I ran over your dog? Whatever. You get another dog. You know, that kind of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> you ran over my dog. You know, seriously. Man, two of swords. Two, block communication, confusion, don't know what to do. Right here, indecision, don't know what to do. These two cards are read together. These two cards are read together. The nine of swords is read with the seven of cups. It's exactly, the reading is coming out symmetrical. The reading is working perfectly. It's making sense. And I'm telling you, they don't know what to do. They're pacing the kitchen. They're worried about it. They're worried you're gonna, you're not, you're not going to let bygones be bygones for whatever happened in the past. They've got the three. They know that, that trust needs to be built here. They're going to come in and try the laugh it off campaign. I firmly believe that because I got judgment here in the final. This, this is communication. This tells me it, it's Phoenix rising from the ashes. Something you thought was dead is returning. And I'm telling you, with this tower here, with this temperance card, their little plan of laugh it off is going to backfire. You're not going to appreciate that. I wouldn't. Wise judgment here. Let's see what the final final is on this. Maybe you will now that you've seen this reading. Maybe you know that they're just laughing it off because they, they don't know what to do. They're a little bit emotionally immature. We saw the Knight of Wands in my pre-shuffle. That's emotional immaturity. It's a card of a player, but player, you can always transpose the word player for emotionally immature. Players are emotionally immature. They go from person to person and they go around and whatever. I just don't use the word because it's not my vernacular. It's not the way I talk. My accent can't even say the word player real good. It comes out weird. <laughs> I'm not street. I'm country. <laughs> All right, judgment. Oh, man, justice on top of judgment. Yeah, they're coming in. They're coming in. They need to fix this. They're driving them. You're driving them batshit crazy. Batshit crazy. Now, that is my, my vernacular. Batshit crazy. You're driving them batshit crazy. They need to come in. Karma's balancing here. Karma's been a bitch on their side, too. Nothing's gone right for this person. I told you, if they're in a third party, this, these two cards might as well be the death card going from three of pentacles to two. But this little plan to come in with the PR agency laugh it off campaign in the hopes that you'll let bygones be bygones is going to end in a freaking disaster. Why is justice here? Mm. Two of wands. Again, it's a card of setting their intention. It's red with the queen of wands, with the, with the laugh it off campaign, with the pretense. This is their intention to come in like this. This is what the universe is telling us. Give me a crossing card here. Mm -hmm. Give me a crossing card. Yeah, the hangman. It's going to leave you with a decision. All of this when they come in. 
Uh, it is. I, I'd say for most of you, better than not, greater than 90% of you watching this, your person is going to come in. They're going to get past this confusion. For some of you, they won't. There's a lot of confusion here and a lot of fear. You're not taking their cup and you're not letting bygones be bygones. Depends how chicken shit your person is at their core. Uh, but they are going to come in with a laugh it off campaign. That's their intention. Look at the color match. Look at the color matches here. Those two cards go together. The only two damn cards would color anywhere around this set. And these sets are read, are read together. Uh, it's their intention to come in with that. If they're in a third party, they've let that go. But they're, they're going to come in and try to laugh off whatever happened in the past and hope you'll just let bygones be bygones. And it's going to leave you in the hangman tree. You're going to end up with a big decision on your hands. At that point, the decision is yours. Is this good enough for me or do I deserve better? You coming in a year and a half later, just as an example, you're coming in a year and a half later with an apology and you're laughing it off like you screw people over all the time so why so why does it matter that you screwed me over that kind of thing mm, mm -mm. it's gonna leave you in a hangman tree with a big decision to make their little plans not gonna work and maybe in part because you're watching this reading you might have fallen for it if you weren't <laughs> I don't know uh, but this person is very worried and, and they need to just smarten up and come in. What they need to do is fall on their sword. And the Four of Swords tells me this a little bit, the energy around that. What they need to do is fall on their sword and hope you'll forgive them for whatever it is. Whatever it is, even if it's something small, it might be something small with the Five of Wands. This person just does not like to, this is a person who does not like to admit they were wrong or it's very difficult for them to apologize. They're a person where it's very difficult for them to apologize. And I can dig that. Sometimes it's hard, especially if time has passed. My, my message to your person is grow the fuck up. Honestly, from the energy I'm reading right here, they need to grow up. Maybe that should be your message to them too. Maybe that's the tower. Maybe you say, grow the fuck up. What do you mean you used to screw people over all the time? I, wh what does that have to do with me? Why, uh, you know, why can't you change? Grow the fuck up. And then you decide whether they're grown the fuck up enough for you. Either way, karma's balancing here. I got justice on top of judgment. Those two cards together, I'll just phrase it to you in slang. Say this shit is happening. For most of you, it will be. It's a general reading. It can't be for everybody, but greater than 90%. I'll guarantee that. Oh, yes, I will. What else the universe wants you to know about this? Let's find out. Come on, universe. Oh, yeah. Flying out of the deck. Two things. One, they're spying on you. Two, this shit is happening. The fool. And the universe also wants you to know strength. Again, we see it here. They're trying to pull up their big girl, big boy pants and come in. But the universe is also backing up what I said. This person needs to grow up. Okay? They're spying. That's immature. They're laughing things off. That's immature. The fool is immature. They need to grow up. That's what the universe wants you to know. It also wants you to know <laughs> three, three other things, it seems. And yeah, four other things. I'm going to go with four other things the universe wants you to know. One, and this is a separate message. I'm just going to throw it over the top. Six of Cups. There's a lot of past lives here between you two. This is a very deep soul connection. So you are connected to this person for the rest of your life, whether you want, want to be or not. You can disconnect your energy from it, but the connection will remain intact. And if you don't know how to disconnect your energy from it, I just did a mailbag video. Go watch it. It's the latest one. Right here, the sun. You actually make this person very happy. Right here. Three of Swords. All this shit happened. All this pain. All this shit. What this person did. Whatever it is that they're worried you're not going to forgive or forget. All that shit. Right? For karmic reasons. For starters, there's a very powerful Three of Swords in this animal deck. It's karmic reasons. And it's because of their own shit. The devil. The goat with its feet on fire. It's your person's karma. This is your person blowing out karma. you got something to learn from this. That's your karma. Figure out what your lesson here is when this person shows up. That's why this hangman is crossing. Because this, this shit is happening and it's crossed by the hangman. 
This is you going up in a hangman tree and figuring out what your lesson is. Is it to uh, then take this person and be in a relationship with this shit? Or do I take my lessons and learn them? Whatever the lesson is, you have to figure it out. I can't tell you. Nobody can tell you what your lesson is. It's in your soul. It's in your soul energy. Listen to your intuition. Sit in the quiet and figure it out. But all this shit happened. If you're in pain right now from this person, from whatever they did, you've been waiting on them, whatever the hell it is, it's all because of their shit, their karma. You guys have a lot of past life karma, and this debt wasn't paid. All karmic debts are paid, like my latest mailbag t uh, tells you. This is karma brought in from a past life. It's unpaid debt passed down to you. Fix this. The universe is telling you right here with the hangman, finish this shit. One way or another, get together with them or don't. It's up to you. But finish this karma. Don't make the next life person pay for it. And for those of you that say, well, I don't give a crap about that. I'm not going to be there. That's someone else. Actually, that's not true. Everything that's ever happened or ever will happen has already happened. That life is going on right now. So if you don't fix this, and they have to live through shit, you're getting feedback from the shit that they have to live through here. You see what I'm saying? So learn your lesson. It's very clear here. The message is very clear. Whatever your lesson is, learn it and either get together with, from this, with, with this person and live happily ever after because there is happiness here with the sun or disconnect from this person by paying your karmic debt and learning the lesson. You can freely disconnect and let them, let them live and wallow in their karma and their shit and their karmic debt. It's a very clear message. It's probably not a message you wanted to hear. But I'm not here to sugarcoat stuff. You want to go get sugarcoating? There's probably 300 channels out there on YouTube that I've seen that sugarcoat like nothing I've ever seen. And it's like, holy crap. It's like a bakery out there. This is the truth. This is the energy that's here. And if this reading resonated with you, if this title brought you in here, this is you. Pay attention. This is important shit. This is very important. This is karmic shit. And don't ever, ever, and I've gotten emails from people like this, man, if, you, if you're going to talk about shit, make sure you know about shit. Don't ever send me an email that says, it doesn't matter what you do in this life. Because the next life, we'll just have to deal with it. So what do I care about the person in the next life? That person in that next life is alive right now and living that life. It's all happening at once. Everything that's ever happened or ever will happen is already happening. Has already happened. Just like all the energy that's ever been created or ever will, created, or ever will be created has already been created. Physics. The laws of physics don't change. People, human beings think we're so damn special. We don't, they, the laws of physics don't change for us. We're just energetic beings. That's all. So if you don't learn your lesson here and you're like, I'm just going to pass that karma off to the next life, it's going to feed back onto you here and your, your life here is going to be even more. You have to fix it. That's the mistake that the last person made. And you're getting feedback for it now. Now it's all carrying over onto you. That's the same shit your person's doing with the whitewashing, with the laugh it off campaign. That's that would be that logic would be your own laugh it off campaign. It would be well, you know, your person's attitude is is to laugh it off. Well, I screw people over all the time, so what? You know, what? Why should you care? Well, gosh, that's very self focused, and isn't that funny? I said that because the Queen of Wands is one of the most self focused cards in the deck. It's pretentious. It's a Kardashian. It's a Paris Hilton type person. Can't see past themselves. And all they care about is what Gucci purse they're going to get or some shit. Or what endorsement deal they're going to get. It's empty. It's bullshit. It's fluff. Don't learn your lesson. Be careful about that. Make sure that's right for you. You do have past life karma with this person and, you, and there is happiness here. And you do have the potential to teach this person how to be better than this. Just figure out if you want to be that teacher or not. You want to be someone's guru or you want to be someone's love partner. That's the decision you have to make, I think, for many of you here in that hangman. And that's just the way it is. No sugarcoat. Anyway, that's your reading, mid-July. 
Hope this reading was helpful to you. Please pay attention to your energy updates I'll be doing throughout the month. I will keep an eye on this for you. As always, I'm the energy weather man for a lot of you. And uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers and everybody who plugs me and all that stuff. It is what it is. But I gave you everything that's here. I'm not going to extend this one. I gave you every ounce of energy that's here. There's nothing else left. So, I told you what I could. All right. Good luck, Taurus.